Okay, today we're gonna be doing tax, tip, and discount. So first we're gonna start with the example. This is a reminder that when we're finding the percent of a number, that we change the percent to a decimal, the word of means to multiply by that number. So 16% of 120 is 19.20. So let's start with tax and tip. So a $43 dinner with 18% gratuity. So the word gratuity is another word for tip. So first let's calculate how much money is 18% tip. So we need to find 18% of 43. So change 18% to a decimal. Of means we multiply 18% of 43. This gives us $7.74 as the tip. So now to find the total cost of the dinner, including tip, we have a $43 dinner plus a $7.74 tip. So we add that together to get $50.74 total for dinner, including tip. So next we have $46 groceries with 2.9% sales tax. So we wanna find 2.9% of $46. So make 2.9% a decimal by moving it two to the left. That would be 0.029 times $46 groceries. So this equals 1.334, but because this is money, we're gonna round it to the hundreds place. So 1.33 for tax. Okay, now let's find the total groceries, including tax. So $46 for groceries plus $1.33 for tax, and that equals $47.33 total for the groceries, including the tax. Okay, now for this tax and total. We have some Nike shoes for $52, headphones for $18. That's a total cost of $70. Sales tax is 5.5%. So we need to find 5.5% of $70. So make 5.5% a decimal by moving it two to the left. So 0 0.055 times $70. That gives $3.85 for tax. Then to find the total amount that they would spend, including tax, you do $70 plus $3.85 tax, and that equals $73.85 total cost. Okay, now we're gonna do tip. Josiah went to the barber to get his hair cut. It cost $18 for the haircut and Josiah tipped the barber 15%. What was the total cost of the haircut, including the tip? So we need to find 15% of $18. So 15% as a decimal is 0 0.15 times $18. That equals 2.7. But because this is money, you wanna add that zero to make it in the hundreds place. So $2.70 tip. Now we need to add the tip to the price of the haircut. So $18 haircut plus $2.70 tip, and that equals $20.70 total. Now we're gonna go on to discount. A $320 flat screen is on sale for 5% off. Determine the sale price of the TV. So sale price is the price of something after you take the discount off. So we need to find 5% of $320. So 5% is 0 0.05 times $320. 
that equals $16 off. And I'm gonna write off so I don't forget that that's 5% off. So then to find the sale price, I have to take the price of the TV minus the 5% discount. The 5% discount is $16 discount. So we have to subtract because this is a discount. So we get $304 as the sale price. So that's the price of the TV after the discount. Okay, now we're gonna go on to commission down at the bottom. Andrea makes 25% commission on the Mary Kay makeup she sells. Shown are her sales from this weekend. How much money did Andrea make in commission? So this is how much she made in sales. So let's find her total sales by adding those up. So $48 plus $36 equals $84 in sales. Now she makes 25% commission. That means she makes 25% of her sales. So we need to find 25% of her sales. So 0.25 times 84, and that equals $21 commission. So for commission, we don't have to add or subtract. She just makes 25% of her sales. Okay, last problem is the multi-step problem with discount. Mr. Jenkins buys a hat for $18 and a coat for 63. He has a coupon for 15% off the total cost. He pays with four $20 bills. How much change will he receive? So first let's start off by finding out how much is his total cost for the items he's buying. So we have $18 plus $63. That equals a total cost of $81. Now he has a coupon for 15% off. So let's find the sale price. So we wanna find 15% of $81. That equals $12.15 off. And I'm writing the word off so we don't forget that this amount that we just found represents the discount. So now we need to find the sale price by doing $81 total cost minus the discount, which is $12.15 off. And that equals $68.85 sale price. So this is the price of the items that he's going to buy after the discount. He pays with four $20 bills. So four $20 bills is $80 in total. So he's paying with $80. We wanna know how much change will he receive. So he's paying with $80 and he's paying $68.85. We wanna see how much change he will receive. So we have to subtract and we get $11.15 in change. So this is how much he will get in change.